Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to take you along the ride on the journey of me cutting my hair. So I've been thinking about cutting my hair for a really long time now. Just, it's really heavy, it's really long, it takes a long time to style and to wash, and I just don't want to put up with it anymore. So I decided I'm going to take the leap and I'm going to cut my hair. And I decided I would film it and take you guys along for the ride because I do things a little bit differently. I do not go to a salon to cut my hair. So go ahead and stay tuned if you want to see how I transform my hair. officially done and that's what it looks like <laughs> um so yeah uh my husband cut my hair um i fully trust him i mean i've had him cut my hair when it was long all the time because i like a blunt cut so i just tell him to go straight across and um luckily he's really good at that and he did it again just obviously at a much shorter length um and it worked out well only thing that was a little scary at first was um, obviously when he went to go cut my hair, so all of this is gone. Can't believe it used to be that long. That was a lot of hair. Anyway, um, yeah, so when he went to go cut it, it was in a ponytail and he went to go cut it across and obviously it did not cut straight across. So that was the only thing I was like, oh my god, it's like I have to have like a pixie cut. but. It turned out fine. Um, the total length of what we took off was right at ten and a half. So we went to about ten and a half. Um, 
And the reason why I cut so much is one, I knew I kind of wanted it um, like a lob length, I guess is what they call it. Um, you know, like kind of like right in the middle of the back of my shoulder blades and like right above my chest um, in the front. But I just knew that that was a good length because I could, the main issues of why I wanted to cut my hair was having really long hair. Every time you have to like put your purse on, your hair gets stuck and you have to like pull it. Um, when you sit on the back of a chair, sometimes your hair gets stuck and you have to like pull it front. Um, other than that, like when you lean over, when my hair was like all the way down to here, anytime I would lean forward, it would go into the sink. If I was leaning over a sink, it would go into my food. If I was leaning over food, it would go into drinks. I mean, I can't tell you how many times my hair has been dipped in my food and drinks and it was just getting out of control. Um, so I decided enough was enough and I was like, I'm just gonna cut it. Um, I was getting a lot of headaches too um, in the back, like, the occipital region of my head, um, like in my neck, and it was just from the strain of the weight, especially if I put it up in a ponytail of it pulling back. So it definitely feels much lighter. Um, it's not as heavy on my head, so that's always awesome. And I decided um, to cut that amount of length and make sure I did it in a straight across cut like that is because I'm doting my hair. I don't think that word came out right. I'm donating my hair. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, donating to the children with hair loss. Um, you can go online to their website. You just go to like childrenofhairloss.us.com um, and it's going to bring you to their website. You click on donate and then it says donate your hair and then it's gonna bring you to this little instructions and I'll tell you how to follow the instructions and then you're going to print out a form and you just fill this out and if you want to donate to them, you can, um, in addition to donating your hair. So um, prime, the main rules, the reason why I chose this one is because they were one of the few ones that did allow color processed hair. Because keep in mind, um, while all of this is my natural color, this on the ends is all color processed. Um, now my hair is extremely healthy and it's in really good condition. I don't have any split ends, luckily. So as long as it's in good condition, this was one of the few companies that actually accepted um, color treated hair. Most companies don't accept color treated hair. So keep that in mind if you plan to donate. Um, make sure you look at a company that accepts color treated hair. Um, this company also only had a requirement of eight inches or longer if you want. Some of the other ones I looked at was like minimum 12 inches, minimum 13, and I'm like, I can't, I can't do a straight full bob, like I'm not there yet. <laughs> um, so I like that this one was only eight inches, so that was an easy compromise. Um, and yeah, they pretty much just asked that you put a ponytail at the top and a ponytail at the bottom or braid it and another ponytail at the bottom cut straight across and then just put it in a Ziploc bag with this form filled out and then you just mail it off to them. Um, and like their address and everything is on here as well. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, we'll get that hopefully mailed out by tomorrow. And yeah, so this is obviously my hair curled and styled. Um, without it, it's just like literally stick straight um, that's just my natural hair, uh, but I really like it. I like solid blunt cuts like this because I just think it makes my hair look so much healthier. Um, I don't really like a lot of layers. Um, good thing is it looks like the like blunt cuts are really in trend right now, so that's good. Um, and yeah, it's easy to style because it's all one length and so I don't have flyaways or anything going anywhere when it's straight. Um, but yeah, I definitely suggest if you are thinking of cutting your hair and are really scared about it, go for it. It's pretty awesome. So that was my whole hair cutting journey. Hope you guys like watching. <laughs>